another crystal that you can use is um, the this is one this one is also a very well-known crystal to work with the heart chakra um, is rose quartz and so my rose quartz that I have here are very very pale almost purple almost lilac but rose quartz comes in a wide variety of shapes and also um, shapes and colors and so some of the rose quartz that you will typically find have more of like a baby pink color but um, some quartz also comes in these like cloudy cloudy pinkish colors okay um, it's for me it's very hard for me to find um, rose quartz with terminated points um, and termination is basically just um, kind of like tower points, right? When it's like a raw point, it's not polished. Um, and you'll know it's polished is if it's um, not in raw form, it's a little bit smoother than usual, and it's a little bit more polished than usual. Um, and so Rose Quartz, it's, for me, it's been hard to find some with um, that raw point, but um, the seller who I had purchased this from um, has quite a bit of rose quartz with these terminations and these clusters and so rose quartz is very good for kids it's very good for people who can't handle high vibrations again it's a very gentle very um very gentle vibrating crystal and so um rose quartz again <laughs> The color, it kind of already gives off that loving energy, right? Pink, pink and um, love. Um, I actually have a rose quartz and lapidolite in my son's room because it helps with nightmares and alleviating any kind of anxiety. It uh, When I think about rose quartz too, I think about like the mother, the baby um, type of energy and like a warm, gentle, like fluffy energy um and so rose quartz is very good for that um let me see i'm gonna actually moving through my book to add more to our um, for these spherical shapes um a lot of them are polished spheres, like obviously spheres are not, well, I shouldn't say are never natural. There are some very natural um, sphere shapes, minerals, crystals, and, um, and gems, but I would say that they are very, very rare. But with these sphere shapes, you can use them for, um, Again, gridding. You can do gridding with them. Um, they're perfect for gridding. Um, so, and this one has nothing to do with this, but that. But I just wanted to show you all how you can use these little hematite rings. Um, you know those little rings that kind of look like um, rings you would buy in the '90s. They're kind of like the equivalent of those mood rings, right? They'll look, um, or you can get mood rings. Um, and you can place the spheres on the ring so that they don't roll around to do your um, your gritting. And so if you want to channel the energy of unconditional love or the loving motherly energy, you can definitely channel with rose quartz. Any crystal you can definitely do um, gritting with. Um, and I'm trying to find this piece. Age on rose quartz. I actually don't really work with rose quartz because the past few times that I had purchased um, rose quartz, they have just gone missing. Like I, one of my first crystals I bought was a, um, it was a little tumbled rose quartz. And it was just really pink rose quartz. Um, 
and so I would carry it around but I lost that one and then I purchased a little like stone it, it uh, worry stove it looks like this but it has a divot and it was round I purchased a rose quartz um, worry stone or palm stone I think it's a worry stone and um, I had it in my pocket and I went on this kind of like trail walk or hike with some of my youth when I was um, leading a youth group and um, it went missing it went missing in this in this like national state park and so I kind of just take it as you know what it's uh, my time to work with the crystals how they're done and I don't it's like not in my hands anymore it's elsewhere and so um, that's how I make peace with lost crystals and so um, sometimes crystals will disappear you lose it right the logical thing is that you lose it but how you make peace with that is that um, the work that you and the crystal were doing together they're no longer needed and so it's moved on to either somebody else or it's moved on to be where it needs to be right and if you lost it in an actual location and um, it's fallen somewhere you can also think of it as you planting that seed of knowledge and that seed of healing in that particular area because maybe that area or what's happening in that area needs that healing right now so rose quartz again is good for love it's gentleness um emotional healing release of stress and uniting with the divine and so when i think about uniting with the divine i think about like um meeting with your feminine self whether you are a man or woman right meeting with your uh yourself um reclaiming that femininity the divine energy and uh rekindling that relationship with yourself and so rose quartz is again um part of the quartz family it just has that pink tinge and is considered the stone of love and love for oneself, one's life, partner, children, family, friends, community, the earth, the universe, and the divine. And so this is also a really good crystal to meditate with if you're into meditation or else you can have it on your mantle, you can have it on your altar, or you can do grading with it, okay? So that is rose quartz.